Hi, this is Rick here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Ledger Nano X with your ROI and Cardano so that you can store your ADA on the Ledger Nano X and stake from there. All right, so let's dig into this video. We're going to start by launching Ledger Manager. So let's bring that up first and logging into it. When I first open Ledger Manager, it shows an indicator to plug in the Ledger Nano X, which I'm going to do here. Plug the cable into the port and watch for it to start up. And it starts up, then enter the pin on the device. Once your pin is entered, it's going to say loading. It's going to connect the uh, Ledger and it will say allow the Ledger Manager on your device, on your device, on your device you'll see this check mark indicator if I could show that and it says allow the ledger manager on the device okay so to do that press both buttons uh, you need to be somewhat familiar with a ledger to perform these tasks it's always fun to watch a video and have somebody else show you first and then uh, it's easier to do it yourself so now my ledgers allowed and there's a few things you want to check you gotta check that the firmware on the ledger itself is up to date 1.2.4-4 if it is not up to date make sure you perform the update procedure first it's pretty easy to do and there's a lot of ledger videos showing you how to do that once you have that installed verify that you have the correct Cardano app shown here and you can check your apps installed on this ledger Nano X it's new so I have only the Cardano ADA app installed up to this point and it has version 2.0.4, which is the version that you want. If you don't, if you don't have it on your device yet, you find the Cardano ADA in your list in Ledger Live, and you select from ADA. Make sure you have version 2.0.4 on it. Then you go over here and click the Install button. As you can see, mine is already installed. Okay, so just make sure you have the right versions: version 2.0.4 for ADA and 1.2.4-4 for the Ledger Nano X itself. And now your device at this point is ready to use with your OE. You'll have a Cardano ADA indicator here. Once it's installed, you'll see the indicator for Cardano ADA and you'll be able to select it. Works like many other tokens if you're familiar with other tokens. Next we go to the Uroi to connect the Ledger Uroi and stake from there. And you'll notice that it doesn't. It says uh, Ledger's not Ledger Live is not supported on the indicator for Cardano. You can't view your ADA inside the Ledger Live application here, but you can use it in Uroi. So let's go to Uroi next and perform some staking. I'm just going to minimize Ledger Live here and open up Chrome. All right, now that we're in Chrome, I'm going to install the Uroi application in my plugin so that it will show up here in my list. So I'm going to go to the Chrome Web Store, and I'm going to select Extensions. However you get there, it varies. Then from here, I'm going to type in uh, Uroi for Uroi Wallet, and I don't want to test that. I want Uroi proper. And here's the extension Uroi by Uroi Wallet, a simple, secure, and fast Cardano ADA wallet. Add to Chrome. Add extension. Okay, now it says Uroi has been added to the Chrome extension. And you see it's no longer in this list, so I'm going to select the settings puzzle piece, and I'm going to pin Uroi so that it always shows up here in the list. And now I'm going to select the ROI to go into it. So I've adjusted my screen so I can show you what happens on the ROI wallet screen and also show you what happens on the ledger itself. So when you first install ROI, you'll see select your language, continue. You get the terms of agreement here. Make sure you read that thoroughly. There's a lot. Agree, continue. Now we're, I'm going to do a simple setup and choose. Then for Allowing payment URLs, I'm going to skip that. And that's fine. Hit confirm. Now, what do I want to do? I want to connect a hardware wallet. So I hit the Ledger Trezor indicator here, pick a currency Cardano, and I always find that curious because there will be other assets in the Uroi wallet in the future. So I'm going to select Cardano, 
and I'm doing a ledger, so I select ledger, and we need a Shelly Arrow wallet to uh, stake from, and it gives you the prerequisites here. It tells you uh, what to do to set up. Make sure you got the Cardano app, which we did on the Ledger Live. The app must remain open on the Ledger device, and your computer must remain connected to the internet throughout the entire process. The Ledger device must remain connected to your computer throughout the process, and it is. My Ledger is still connected. I'm not logged into it, but I have the Cardano app on the screen. So at this point, I'm going to open the Cardano app, and it says, waiting for commands. That's very hard to read, but you can see it there, waiting for commands. Then we hit next, and it did a check after connecting the Ledger device to the port. Press the connect button. Make sure Cardano ADA app is open on the Ledger device. And the app is open. Then hit connect. And we're connecting to a Ledger Nano X. And see this little alert here? Do not press the cancel button. Okay, I won't. Check your ledger screen and press both buttons. It says export public key. And you can see here, uh, let me see if you can get that. Nah, it's really hard to see. Export public key. It matches what it says on the screen. So you'll see that on your ledger. It's hard to see on my screen. So I hit both buttons. So step three there is complete. Then I get a check mark that says confirm export of public key. So I hit double hit both buttons again. That's fine. Then I confirm export of public key and that connects the device. And I give you you give it a name. So at this point it's asking us to name the device here. I'm gonna just leave it at your ledger and hit save. And now I'll have a wallet in here called Yoroi Ledger right here. Now I've set this wallet up previously so it has 11 ADA in it. I did a test send of 11 ADA. At this point we can delegate that. So I'm going to go to the delegation list and when I go in here it's going to load the list powered by ADA pools and show several pools. I'm going to search for Digi and I'm going to select Digi2 and hit delegate and I have 11 ADA in there. So it's going to delegate 8.8 .8 ADA. There's a two ADA stake registration fee that you will get back whenever you undelegate your wallet and 0.17443 in fees. So this is the amount that will actually be delegated out of the 11 ADA. And I hit delegate and the process takes place. Make sure your Ledger Nano is connected to your computer and I hit continue. And then I'm going to confirm the transaction. Just follow these steps here. Check your ledger screen and press both buttons. And what it says on the ledger is it says start a new transaction. Okay, start a new transaction. So I'm going to push both buttons to confirm that. And step four says confirm the ADA amount by pressing both buttons. What it says here is send ADA. That was step four. So I press both buttons. And it says the to address, and it gives the crazy numbers right there that you might be familiar with. So I press both buttons again because it's going to show me the address next. And it says the staking key hash. That's on the screen. Step six staking key hash and as you can see the staking key hash matches step six okay so now i'm going to press both buttons because i have a match i'm going to click it one more time to check that last letter e i saw the letter e at the end i want to check it so i just click the button over and yeah there's an e that was the very end of it <laughs> so now i'm going to click both buttons at this point step seven I'm sorry, finishes step six. Now we go to step seven, confirm the transaction fee by pressing both buttons, and it shows that the transaction fee is 0 0.17433, right? And then, because the two ADA is a stake key deposit, so I press both buttons again, and it gives a transaction time to live. I'm surprised they put that on a user device, but there it is. That's something that pool operators usually mess with. And 
press both keys again. So I just pressed them both again after the transaction time to live on both buttons. And it says registering the staking key. And the last button has me confirm the registration. Now after setting time to live and registering the staking key, it's going to give you the stake pool ID on the ledger device itself. That's something you would have to compare by opening up Pool Tool or Ada Pools or another web browser tab and check that that is the correct uh, pool ID, the correct pool ID for the pool that you're delegating to. So I'm going to press both buttons again. And the last selection I have is to confirm delegation. So I hit both keys one last time. Confirm transaction. Now I hit the keys one last time. Successfully delegated. There, that, were the, that was the step. So it was about 12 steps to get there all the way through the process. Now I can go to the dashboard page and see that the delegation took place. It might take a moment for this to update. I got to give it a minute. I kind of jumped over to the screen. There it goes. That's what the dashboard should look like. So total ADA delegated 8.8. .8, and then there was the two ADA deposit and the 0.17 ADA fee. Now I have the delegation in my dashboard and I can see that I'm delegated to Digital Fortress, which is a Digi2. Okay. And from there, of course, you can view the web pool page. There's a link to that. You can check your delegation list. I'm going to check my transaction list to see that the transaction is in there. And I see that it's listed as an ADA intra wallet transaction here. That's the delegation transaction. And on my dashboard, I can see that I have my delegation took place. 8.8 .8 ADA is delegated to Digital Fortress right there. All right. So there you have it. That's how you delegate using the Ledger Nano X. It'll work similar with the Ledger Nano S, maybe a slight variation, but I uh, just wanted you guys to see how that works. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day, and thanks for staking with Digital Fortress. Take care. Bye-bye.